halfway through a project and I completely forget to take videos or pictures or anything to do with it. But I'm installing a barn door in our RV today. Already came, uh, got some challenges that I had to uh, figure out quickly, but I uh, managed to uh, put it all together. So here we go. So a beautiful day today. So I managed to get some lumber, six foot, tug and groove, cedar, went through a stack of wood, took my time. Trish was walking the dog, Brinks. I had some time to just chill out at Home Depot for a bit. So yeah, you just have to uh, make sure when you're picking wood that uh, boards have to be true, especially the tongue and groove, or else you're not going to have a nice clean fit in that tongue and groove. So one by six, six footers. And I got one by four cedar strips that we're going to uh, reinforce the tongue groove with and put a neat little design across of some sort. So let's head on into the trailer and see what we've got going on here. So I got the hardware for the barn door on Amazon, reasonably inexpensive, I believe. I think it's around 50 bucks. The problem I came up with was, see where the two silver bolts are? That usually goes into a wall. But because it's open span, I had to make do. Had some bolts lying around that fit perfectly. Composes of four short lengths, probably for shipping reasons. And I just managed to bolt those pieces together, drill some new holes in the beam. And that's how I affixed it to the wall. Pretty sturdy. I'll paint the uh, silver bolts to match. The remaining pieces of the hardware are here. And the molar that goes on there, the other one's around somewhere. And I had to put this door stop on. You'll see it's there. It adjusts with the Allen screws down there. Set screws, sorry, the Allen head. And I had to put it on before I bolted to the wall, otherwise it would not fit. All right, so uh, looking forward to putting the rest of the door together and uh, we're unsure of what color we're going to stain it, whether we're going to go whitewash or add some love into the RV to match maybe the mantelpiece. So we'll uh, get it up and then we'll decide what to do. But a gorgeous day and it's coming along for sure. It's been a couple of days since I finished the barn door installation. It's been a chore, but uh, it is very rewarding when it was done. I'll uh, go through what I did uh, step by step, uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, working smoothly. Uh, right now the RV is on a bit of an angle, so it's rolling back by itself, so... Uh, Hi! Why does it stink like hot garbage in here? No, no. We mentioned before that we had to do some modifications because of the open span. So here we had to put these extra bolts in. Uh, when I installed it, we also had to take into consideration the door stopper. Because of the width of the door, we had to actually install the door stopper right, right where the bolt goes in, right? Previously, this is where the two locations of the bolts going into the wall, the support would go, but because I needed an extra bolt here. I actually had to drill through the door stopper. Uh, so I had to remove this bolt, slide it in, and put the bolt 
right through the door stopper so it closes exactly where I wanted it to go. So again, we have the four piece rail with uh, different bolts that actually have lag bolts that are considerably longer because there's no support in these walls, right? So I had to uh, go right through and I'll show that to you in a bit. But so extra bolts, short bolts here to keep the frame together, and everything else turned out pretty good regarding the structure. Up here is installed as a jumper, so this doesn't jump off the rail. However, when removing the RV on the road, I'll be actually just pulling the door right off and laying it on the ground. Uh, so just in case it does. Uh, move if I don't want this uh, the weight of the door loosening anything or falling off by mistake uh, With regard to the construction of the door itself uh, Turned out extremely well again. We have one by four uh, cedar uh, One by six tongue groove cedar So what I did uh, as you said before I laid out the the, the boards on the table I had one of the grooves removed on one side and the other tongue on the other removed. So it is true on both sides. I framed it out and centered it all. And then this piece here, uh, after a little bit of problem solving, I decided to build the frame and then I took the board laid it underneath the frame and then I drew the lines of where I wanted to cut it and then I just fell into place. So I used a PL, PL uh, adhesive as well so I laid it on a flat surface and I put when I before I put the boards on I put on like a, a PL adhesive for uh, wood, uh, concrete, mace, whatever and then I used uh, finishing nails to tack it into place and it is solid and as true as it can be so that's fantastic. I am going to leave it the color it is uh, because it's nice and warm and breaks up all the gray we have in the RV. There's a couple more points I want to touch upon before I conclude this installation of a barn door in an RV. That would be the bolts here, the lengths, the depth of these leg screws, what I'm going to do on the other side of the walls, and you can't see it right now, but the, the door guide at the bottom of the door. Let's start with the lag bolt that I stuck in the wall. Uh, as you know already, there isn't much support in RV walls. So I had to grab a couple handy lag bolts that I had in the shop. However, they did go through the wall. Uh, so I'm going to uh, finish this off with another piece of wood. I'm going to drill the back of the wood with a diameter that's the same as that bolt. And then I'll be imaginative and throw on uh, towel hook. I think that'll be pretty handy here. There's very limited space now that there is no door to put a hook on. And you'll notice here there's also some leg bolts that came through the wall. That I'm gonna have to finish off with wood. The next item I'm gonna touch upon is that the bolts that came with the rollers were a little too long for the depth of the door. So I had some really thick washers. They're a good, almost a third of an inch. So I had four of those and they finished off really well. And the last point, I'll touch upon before I let you guys go is the door guide. Okay. 
The door guide that came with it, of course, is a lot, is way larger than I needed. The door isn't that wide, and because we're in a confined space, I cut it down with a angle grinder. So chop that off. I grind it in so it wasn't sharp. And then I'll touch that up with some paint when I have an opportunity. Yeah, but you can still adjust it. I can still make this a little bit tighter. But it does the job and prevents the door from sliding out. Well, this concludes my video on how to install an RV barn door. It was a lot of finagling and a lot of problem solving. It was a real pain in the butt, but I think it is well worth it. it turned out really well. So hopefully you liked the video. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe. I have a lot more projects that I've done in this RV that I'm going to share in the future when I have more time. We have a couple more days before we move off grid and we won't have to listen to noise like this on a regular basis. Okay, tell you later. Bye.